Hello everybody. I'm going to start working on the meat cleaver today to make the chopper. Okay, now what I got here is just a big flat chisel and I'm going to drive it down in there and just try to break it off. I don't care nothing about the handles because I'm going to be replacing those. Being stubborn. Maybe I need a screwdriver. Watch your toes, everybody. <laughs> well, I got part of the handle off. There we go. Okay. If a chisel don't work, just throw it down on the ground and it'll come off. <laughs> Should have drilled those pins out. There we go. Handles off now. I'll have to cut these rivets here. Okay. Now I gotta clean it up and do a little more grinding on it. It's got a mark on it I didn't know about. It says Made in USA by Lampson B something or another. Manufacturing company. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that spine or not, but somebody's used it for a hammer or something and really jacked that spine up. So I'm going to straighten it up on the belt sander over here, my little belt sander. 
So I'll switch it that way. Okay, I did go knock some of these biggest burrs off over there on the bench grinder. And now I'm going to hit it on the sander. Yeah, I need to get in there, but as you can see, <laughs> I ain't going to be able to. Okay, my bench vise is broke. I broke it. So I got my vise out of my drill press. I'm just going to set it right there so that I just need to smooth this up some. And I'm going to use my grinder for that. That is going to have to be good enough. Now, if I was Jake at Darkwood Knife or Dark Wolf Knives, I'd have a, uh, I'd be able to get in there with a belt grinder or belt his belt grinder, but he would do what I did in about two minutes. <laughs> so, good enough that's as good as I can get it he wanted a 90 degree spine on it but you see if I take a if I do a 90 degree then I'll have to cut all these little divots here out which means I'd have to take out a lot of material which I'm just not equipped to do that so we're gonna have to that spine right there is gonna have to be good enough Okay, everybody, there's the uh, blade as it is now. I'm not really going to try to get a mirror polish on this because he said he was going to put a patina on it anyway. So, force a patina on it. So, I may just clean it up a little bit. And I might buff it a little bit because I can't help it. But we're going to try to go with a nice convex edge. because if you put a like a scandy grind on it scandy grind is about as sharp of an edge as you can get but they're brittle they're very brittle and you don't want it on a chopper like this so it's got a nice convex edge on it so I'll just be sharpening that up and I got to do the handle And so there's where I'm at right now, everybody. I'll see you in part two.